Hello, Cancer. I'm going to back it up just a little bit. There we go. I always seem to be so close to the camera. And today I'm just going to back it up. My catfish is going to fall off here. There we go. Thank you for being here today. It's an early morning read. I have to get to work. And then I might do one afterwards as well. See how the day graces me. Landed right on me toe. Dragonfly. Oh, right up. It's pretty far. Oh. Okay, we got mask on the ground. Love in reverse. Ascending in reverse. girl with the snake underneath she was kind of popping out okay dragonfly being lighthearted finding out that someone's not showing their true feelings and somebody's pretending they're hiding and there is no love and somebody can't get over that So, I almost feel like somebody's, like, letting somebody in, and they shouldn't be. Someone's let somebody in to maybe your, maybe your circle. You've let somebody pass the gates. Ooh, okay. There's some type of partnership here. That, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we got axe and engagement ring. So it's, it's, this is weird. It's like if you're getting the silent treatment from somebody and you keep trying to let them in, right? As if you as if you're the problem, you know, and 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 they're trying to solve it somehow. It's a pattern with somebody that is hiding their true feelings from you. And now I'm getting this guy who always tries to kill himself and he does that so then his friends will come and visit him and then he can get a lot of attention um every time he attempts to do something and this is like a 43 44 year old man and i think he's tried to kill himself three or four times that i know of and his wife is so in denial about it I love him. He's everything. Oh, he, he tries to kill himself every time he cheats on her. So he'll go out. He, he says that he's manic depressant, suicidal, and bipolar. 
and schizophrenic and he has to go out and sleep with other women behind his wife's back and he's got a couple of kids at home um and then when she finds out and and does something about it right gets pissed off about it he tries to kill himself right gaslighting take all the attention off of what you just did by now attempting to kill yourself so everybody feels bad for you right because there is absolutely no love and somebody won't get over it so it's like somebody hiding in a relationship because that person that they're hiding with won't put up any boundaries. They won't, um, they won't not answer the call from this person because they feel like that's going to be the call, um, that suicide call, right? And if you don't pick up, that's going to be the one call where they die. And it's, that's, that's, the guilt being put on to somebody that if you're not there for me and I die, you are going to feel like shit about it. Best believe if you're not there, that's going to hurt you more than me, right? It's like, it's like death manipulation. That's how I'm feeling in, in a relationship. Like somebody that's, that is gaslighting so much themselves right that they end up gaslighting their partner on everything that they do so then the attention can come back onto them again right it's like there is no unconditional love with this person this person won't they won't reach that level some people just will never understand what a partnership truly is right it's so many it's it's such selfish tools that people use Um, when they're in relationships so then they can be sloppy and lazy and and unconfident and secure right it's like once you get somebody it's like sometimes people feel like once they get somebody once they anchor somebody in that's it they can do whatever they want right it's all about the show in the beginning just so then you can get the fish on the line you can set the fish on the line you know somebody using you as bait and then you come you end up coming back around again because they know that they can use that love even though they don't feel it for you they know what your vulnerableness towards them does so this is some type of union pattern that is complete it has to stop it has to move on the the energy around it has to break up right because if people are truly hurting you right to your face but not showing you what they're doing then and if you're a decent person the universe is going to continue to try to get you to see what you're doing to yourself because it it turns out that you're going to end up hurting yourself and now i'm getting this vision of like a really old old elementary school like, you know, one of those ones that's been around so long that's just, like, covered in vines and shit. It's like, oh, we built that school in the 60s. It's getting, like, a really, really old elementary school now. Like, maybe these are, like, old, old, old feelings from the past. Like, maybe this is, maybe this is a parent or somebody really close to you that has managed to use and abuse you at every chance they got with absolutely no love given to you at all absolutely no recognition no acknowledgement on 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 the sacrifices that you've made for this person and because they won't get over how you feel about them they'll just keep using you on now you're gonna have to one eye it catfish there you go 
Don't make me go up on you. See, sometimes when it comes down to dealing with such a huge narcissist like this, that you end up going up to their face and going, if you don't stop this, if you don't tell me the truth, like, I'm going to OJ rage on your ass, you know? Like, I'm going to black out. I'm going to end up doing something to you. You can't keep, you can't lie to people, especially people who you are tightly knit uh, connected with in some way, whether through blood, just telepathy, you know, sex, contracts. Wow. Okay. So thief, there's a huge thief here. Okay. That's been stealing money from you. And it's bully in reverse because the thing is, is that what I've realized is that my stepmother doesn't know what a bully is because what she does, how she bulldozes people and because she's what standards would kind of call a good looking woman, she thinks that she can use her looks and her mind to bulldoze people. And there's no love there. If you are bulldozing somebody or if somebody's bulldozing you, there is no love, okay? Because you would never bulldoze somebody that you truly cared about. You would want that person to thrive. You would want that person to grow, right? Love is something that is so give and take. It, it, it's so opening. It's so friendly and inviting that nobody under any circumstances can say they love you and hurt you at the same time. That's not what love is right? It's not what love is. And like, I can hear the beginning of this song called pop the trunk, which keeps coming into my head. Don't make me go pop the trunk. And it's like this beginning of the song is like, it's, it's like this piano that starts. And I love the piano. Like, like old school instruments like that are just, they can serenade you. Right. And it's almost like the beginning of that is like, I think this person's been a bully to begin with. I think they've always been a bully, but I think it sounded good. Right. Because if you're in a PTS place, okay. And you're in a traumatic state and you're not making the right decisions and you feel like you're going to fight or flight and you don't know if you're going to be here or not. And you haven't chosen if you want to stay or not. Having somebody walk up to you and say, hey, I'll make those really awful decisions for you. Like, I know you're in a rough spot and it's hard and you're muffled and you're not hearing things properly. I'm going to help you. So that would sound good. If, if you don't know what you're doing, it's like having your own personal shrink that can help you through every problem. But the difference is, is when they start using your problems as their ammo. Right. So then you let people in that you don't know hate you because they've got this obsession over you. So you think it's love and you think it's adornment and you think it's flattering. But really, it's an abuser who doesn't even know they're abusing, who's stealing from you that doesn't love you at all. But that's the thing is like. If you grew up with wolves, as I did, you would never know what love is. You would never even consciously be aware of it. You think that love is something that is screamed at, that is forced, that is violent, that is physical, right? You think love is, is totally different, right? Because you've never seen it. But once you close the door on those people and open up the door to yourself and start loving yourself and starting seeing the light on things, then those partnerships that you're in you're going to start to separate from because you realize that it is a mask that they're wearing. Ooh. Okay. And that there is absolutely zero feelings there. It's just something that people can't get over. People can't ascend their own ego. Sometimes they can't ascend their own jealousy, their own rage, their own heads, their own mindset, right? It, it's people, People can be so cut and dry. They can be very one dimensional. It just depends how they've lived. It depends how they grew, how their parents were. And not only that is 
once they became an adult, did they start opening up the doors on all of those things their family destroyed on them, right? Because sometimes people won't do that until the family member's dead. Why did I hate them so much? Why did I do this? And then you find out everything. But if you separate and you find out who's truly hurting you, who might not even know that what they're doing is bulldozing, they might not even know that the hatred they feel for you is actually hate and not love. Because if you were never grown or raised in a loving environment, hate stems out of love for the most part. Like you don't really know the difference because there's so much hate on people who say they love. Right? So I think that this bully, this bully was a very jealous person. And by taking your will away from you and by saying that they were going to help you in a very vulnerable time, they put that mask on and then they just stole everything. And that really sucks. That brings me to this uh, news case um, about a woman who would um, only allow very vulnerable people to live in her apartment complex. And then she would get them signed up for disability or for welfare. And then she would get the checks directed to her because she was the landlord and she would steal. Because that's what people true people want to do it doesn't matter if you're 65 year old woman or if you're fucking 40 year old dude it really doesn't matter right evil is evil and to use people and to see the vulnerability and to take that vulnerability and put it into your hands and then abuse it over somebody who has absolutely no idea what's going on that's like that's not even like yeah sure you can manipulate a child that way and yeah sure you can get the government to give you all the money that you want for your kid but this is like, this is also doing that and abusing it with adults, making them seem like those adults are children. Like, I mean, the, the second a child is born, you should be allowing them to make their own decisions. I'm watching them, but for heaven's sakes, the child can pick out what they want to wear. It doesn't matter if they're two years old or seven years old, they, they can pick what they want. You just help them, right? That's the thing is that that vulnerableness of letting something pick what they want and working with them for what they need, right? Not seeing what they need and then putting your needs over top of their needs by saying they're a baby, they don't know what they're doing. They're handicapped, they don't know what they're doing. That's abuse of power. That's abuse of authority. Right. And people, they believe that they can get away with it all the time. Like, I mean, the abuse in elderly homes was huge until they made this miraculous decision to start putting cameras everywhere. Like, you don't think that those nurses weren't smacking around those old people? Of course they were. But those old people were terrified to say anything. Why would they? That's the person who's feeding them. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. The hand that feeds you is already smacking you. You better fucking sit down. Right? So that's kind of what I'm feeling with this energy is that, is that something, somebody was, they were taken advantage of and the person who said they were going to do the role had absolutely no love in it. They had absolutely no way of seeing and ascending their own hate or their own personal views to work with this person that they said that they were going to take all the rights for. So really, this is a snake in hiding. Like this is now, now the boundaries have come up for this person. Because if you don't, if you can't see what they're doing, but all your decisions are being made off what they're saying, then that means that the universe has caught wind of it. And they know that you're being abused. I swear I had to be a witness to my neighbor being abused by his roommate for uh, an entire year. I watched this guy just yell at this other guy and it killed him. I mean, that's what hate does. You think that somebody that is throwing hate at you every single day, what do you think they want? They want you to die. They want to kill you off. That kind of hate doesn't spring off of love, right? Finding enough hatred to make you die. And like, that's why it comes back to the guy who keeps trying to kill himself. He's doing it so that he gets attention from everybody. So then the bad things that he does get wiped away all because he tried to kill himself again. So I know, I know he cheated and, and ruined our family, but he tried to kill himself again. So let's just wipe the slate clean. 
Fucking idiots. Anyways, wow, 20 minutes. I thought this was like not going to be that long, but anyways. Okay, so Cancer, this is definitely yes, this is this is a, a very bipolar manic depressant um person in your life, okay, that has been non-stop fighting to keep your love all to them, to to keep you from finding out. Like it's done. See you later.